What is going on everybody? My name is Poke Drago and welcome back to another video. Now in this video today we're going to the North Carolina Auto Expo that's at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds and I can't wait because there's actually a certain car I want to show you guys there. Well there's two certain cars that I want to show you guys and man it, what I've heard this event is really 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 good so no more wasting time you guys. Let's get inside Dragon Slayer and let's go for a little ride. All right, everybody, so I just arrived. I just parked right there because, well, there's no parking anywhere else. So I'm gonna make my way over in that area. And well, we're gonna see some amazing cars today, you guys. Holy moly, you guys. This is incredible. This is, this is intense. This is really overwhelming. Like, oh my goodness, this is insane. Well, let's start at the Ford section since I'm closer to that one. Guys, the first car I actually want to discuss with you guys is the brand spanking new Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And my goodness, what a car. The presence that this car has just here looks incredible. And the fact that these wheels right here, you guys, are so gorgeous. Like, you, you really don't see many cars with the um, cool carbon fiber wheel options. The only cars that I remember and know off the top of my head that actually have the carbon fiber wheels are um, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and now Ford with the new Ford Mustang um, GT500. And then they also put it on the Ford GT as well. So I mean, if you want a car that's not as, as, as expensive as those and still have the ability to have the carbon fiber wheel option, boom, and there you guys go. The wing on the new Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 actually doesn't look that big. For what I've actually have noticed, the Shelby GT500 in a lot of videos, I guess it's probably because where they placed the um, GoPro cameras around somewhere around here, they actually made it look way bigger than it is. But that's that's relatively an amazing wing, and this is the track package. And one way you can tell that the a Mustang Chevy GT500 has the track package is the wing and the carbon fiber wheels that this package has on it as well. I mean, look at that! Look at that Cobra. That's really cool, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys be considered of getting a Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 or would you guys actually consider still getting the C8? Because I actually know several people that actually would love to have the Mustang over the C8 just because it's more of an American muscle car. This is a true, true icon that, I mean, let's be real here. The, the history of the Mustang has been absolutely on fire as of recently. With, especially with this one, the Chevy GT 350R was an amazing car, an amazing performance vehicle as well. But this is right here, oh my God, this is gonna set new records. I, I swear to you, this thing is gonna surprise a lot of people once um, the public get their hands on it. Oh wow. So I'm all the way in the back right here, you guys. The Ford area is like right there. So I'm like really far in the back. And check what I see. We got the 2020 Audi R8 V10 Performance, which means this is the, uh, it's not the base Audi R8 you can get. This is actually the upgraded trim. And you can tell it's the upgraded trim because of the carbon fiber wing right here. But you can also tell, and this is actually pretty cool, that this is actually a 2020 and not a 2017 or 2018. Um, Audi R8 because right here if you look down here you can see that the um, Exhaust for the Audi R8 right here is actually an oval shape But back in the 2017 18 
it was more of a um, rectangle shape for the exhaust so that's one clear indication but another and I would presume even better way you can tell is if you look in the front you can see that the front is actually more aggressive it's more intense and you have like these little three inlets that's full and that actually dates back to um, Audi's racing days for Quattro I mean the performance really does look good like this is a gorgeous gorgeous car and these wheels right here are actually the upgraded wheels which means these are actually uh, made out of a machine block as well which is pretty cool I really like that opening the Audi you see that well not that much has changed from the from the 17 to the 2020 there's some small changes in the interior one way is actually the little thing the little knob right here the v10 was actually the uh 17s 18s were like maybe up to like right here now they actually shrunk it down a little bit which is pretty cool this is a very nicely spec there's a lot of carbon fiber everywhere you have carbon fiber even on where you can get your air carbon fiber down here carbon fiber pretty much almost everywhere you look in this spec of the audi r8 this is very well done this is a very nicely spec audi coming underneath the bonnet look at that now when you get your audi r8 none of this is going to be exposed they're actually having it exposed for the expo in order to make sure everything is okay but down here, you could just see how much room you actually have for the Audi R8. This is actually a very, very roomy car for being a mid-engine supercar. It looks really cool as well. I actually like the amount of space you have for this car. I'm pretty sure you can go like maybe on a trip with, um, you know, with somebody in this car if you know how to pack in your Audi. Look at all these cool cars, you guys. This is really cool. Okay, C8. There's a C8 over here. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Yes. So you guys, I know I already did like a video showing you guys more up close in person with the Corvette C8. However, I will say this one right here, unlike the one I showed you guys, is the 9Z51 performance package of the Corvette. And the reason why I say that is because on the um, performance package, Z51, the, there's actually a spoiler that's actually in the rear of the vehicle. This one actually just has what looks to be like a lip spoiler. So this one's more, you know, slick and more like undercover when it comes to showing its performance. These also, the wheels on this one right here is also not the, uh, you know, stock wheels. These are the more perform, uh, more luxurious and more high-end wheels. Because and there are two wheels. That are around the same price are these wheels there are these these ones and then there's one that's a little bit darker however still looks absolutely amazing the blue inside of this car is actually the 3lt package that you can get this blue on you can't get the blue unless you go to the 3lt but i'm going to say right now this is really cool it's really cool to see a see a nod z51 stingray let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? Well, you guys, today was absolutely amazing. I mean, I, and I know I say that a lot, but today was incredible. I got to see a C8, Ford, Shelby, GT500, and a whole host of other amazing cars. But I'm gonna end the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys share the video with everybody. Make sure you guys also stay close to the channel so that way you can be up to date with any information or any cool um, updates that's going on to the channel. That'll be the community tab and the Instagram. All that will be in the description down below. But I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody, and have a great day. Peace out.